Hey, uh, Keys Mods fans, this is David Fine. And I just recently uh, mounted some lyside sulfurs that I reared uh, from the from the larval stage. I found caterpillars in the Florida Keys. First time ever, by the way. And I was able to get some five nice specimens. Uh, unfortunately, living down here in Florida, we have something, a big problem called roaches. And for some reason, a roach decided that it wanted to eat the body off of my lyside sulfur. And in fact, that one looks good, but it found the head of this one and it ate the head. I don't understand, but this specimen looks good. This one's immaculate. So I, I do have a few perfect specimens, but uh, today's video is gonna be, you know, like he started to eat through the body, the thorax where the pin goes through, and it was just enough for the wing to be able to fall off. Like he, he ate the part of the thorax where the wing is attached. So what we're gonna do is we are going to reattach the forewing in a way that you can barely see that there's anything happening with this. So here's what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna reattach this and all you need is um, some white glue, such as Elmer's or whichever. White glue, a little tiny bit of water, and a pin. And this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our glue we're gonna open it and we're just gonna put a little tiny dab. Okay, now we have a little bit of glue, but what you, what you can see about this glue is it's a little thick and you don't want it to, you don't wanna blob a big thick thing of glue onto your specimen because when it dries, you'll be able to see it. So what we'll do is we'll just dilute it a little bit with water. And I'm just gonna mix this around a little bit. So what we do is we dilute the glue with the water. Then we take our pin, the head of our pin, and we get a little blob of it and place it where we want our specimen to stick. Okay, this is not easy. All right, now we're gonna take our, our wing with a pair of tweezers. We're gonna, ay, ay, ay. Now, the problem is once you do this, it's permanent. So, it's pretty decent. I mean, if you zoom in, you're gonna see the body eaten, but that'll be good. Now, one thing you have to be careful of is that no glue gets onto the board because if it gets onto the board, then it'll, if it dries that way, then the butterfly sticks to the board and that's not good. So let's, let's just check it real quick. Yeah, it's gonna be good. All right, now, now the trick is we're gonna have to have this stay put until this dries, which is gonna be a couple hours. Uh, so, I'm going to leave it just off of the board like that. Then what I can do is I can take this and just kind of hold it in place lightly so that the actual wing is not touching the board. Where is it? So the body's not touching the board where the glue is. The glue's on top. 
Hopefully it all, hopefully there's enough glue there to hold it on. That's really unfortunate, but the, the wings are actually glued together. The forewing is actually glued to the hind wing and there's a little bit of the glue on the thorax, but a lot of the thorax is actually missing in this case. So uh, that's gonna be interesting. In, in fact, I'm kind of surprised that the head is ac actually able to stay on. So, all right, let's uh, come back in a couple hours and see if this guy's dry enough to put in our display case. All right, it's been a few hours. Let me take this off here. And uh, we are going to see how this works. Let's see. Bingo. Okay, I'm going to put my label on. And I'll have him join his friends. Very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice. I like it. 